everyone it's Anya here I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and in my uh, series of you know yarn bomb your scatter cushions I have here a bolster cushion now this is a cushion I made myself there's a bit of a duvet inside I think um, and the cover I made myself so um, I am basically just going to, um, you know, sort of make a crochet cover for this uh, to fit. Um, and I will tell you how to go about if you want to do that yourself as well. I have here my um, yarn uh, stash almost. Uh, these are all my leftovers. I am going to use those for uh, the cushions that I'm making. So I'm tr trying you know obviously to use up my leftovers uh, and I am going to do lucky dip <laughs> for the bolster cushion that we are going to discuss in a moment so here I am I've done my uh, lucky dip I put my hand down and this came out <laughs> Pink. I'm using a three and a half. All the um, wool I'm using is um, acrylic wool. Um, it's Starcraft Special DK. And here is my bolster cushion. This is sort of the side. So what my plan is to make two circles and then um, <clears throat> on one circle do rounds um, all the way to the end and then connect it to the second circle. So we are going to make the first circle and you know a cushion is quite malleable. So to be honest I'm going to make it and then do it a little bit smaller for the circle so it's nice and tight in there so we are going to get started um, as usual we are going to do a slip stitch your hook into it and we are going to do three or four chains we are then going to do a slip stitch into the first chain and as usual chain up two well, I chain up to it. You might be chaining up three. And now we are going to do in the circle, we are going to do 10 double crochets. So generally that makes sure I do nine double crochets and then the 10th one is my V. So I don't end up with an extra stitch. So double crochet is yarn over, insert into the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and you go on like that. I am not counting at the moment. <laughs> I am excited because uh, that granny cushion, um, I love it. So yeah, that worked really well. And I am hoping that this one is going to work really well as well. So two, four, six, eight, one more. nine now i find the stitch that i need into there so i skip the two chains into that first double crochet the top of that first double crochet and we now make a top for that chain and that should give us 10 double crochets or 10 v's all around so i am going to cut off my wool and i'm going to reach down and see what comes up violet <laughs> okay so that comes out so there we go that's our circle and I am going to do a slip knot because I like to start with a standing stitch so I have my slip knot around I'm also intending on taking all my ends with me so this end obviously the middle one is going to have to stay because you can't take that with you I mean I could because nobody's going to see yeah I'm going to do that I'll show you how I do that okay so yarn over insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and you've done a standing stitch so this time we are going to have to do two stitches in each stitch around And as you can see, I start sort of two stitches away from where I finished. And that's what I generally do. And then I here you get the opportunity to take your ends with you. So I'm going to insert, make sure my ends are in between 
and I'm going to take them with me because obviously nobody's going to see the inside of my cushion and that will save me a bit of time. So let's just have a look. Uh, yeah. So two double crochets in each stitch around and look at that. I have taken in the ends with me. So I will see you at the end of your round. I am now at the end of my round. Here, that standing stitch, that always sort of closes up for me, which is fine because we now have to do a slip stitch. If we were to do a slip stitch, we'd have an extra stitch, but this way, because this one is closed up, you go under the next one and that slip stitch is going to take over being the top of your standing stitch. So that's perfect there. I have taken along the ends here so really I can cut those off because it's not long that they were taken along but that's fine and because here we started with a standing stitch now our ends are next to each other so you can take those along without any problems in the next round so I put a little knot in them and I can take them along again we are going to do this lucky dip thing so I'm reaching down into my basket and what comes out is Ha <laughs> ha, pink. <laughs> Fuchsia purple, I think that is. So, slip knot. I am so excited because I love doing this lucky dip thing. That's what I did with my scrap blanket. Have you seen the video of that? Um, yes, I had a bit of a disaster with it, but don't you just love the colours? <laughs> okay, so first stitch you do one double crochet. Next stitch, and this is a bit difficult to get into that because obviously it is where you finished and I am just going to go into the between the stitches that's fine you do two stitches next stitch and don't forget to take your ends along you do one stitch next stitch look my ends are sort of lying on top of that so I take them along automatically two stitches so this row we're doing one two one two I will see you at the end of the round Okay, so I have come to the end of my round and I've done two double crochets in the last stitch and then we have that one standing stitch again which we skip to do the slip stitch in the next one and then that makes our top of our standing crochet. Right, so next. Right, lucky dip. <laughs> okay, so look here. I've taken along my ends and that's perfect because obviously it's not going to matter all that much. So I can just leave them or cut them off. So again I'm going to do a little knot here and we are ready to get going again. Right, hand down into the basket, what comes out is, oh I lost it, ah oh, here we are. <laughs> Lincoln <laughs> okay so slip stitch now here we have 10 stitches then here we have 20 stitches and here we have 30 stitches so now we are going to go to 40 stitches so yarn over ready to get going like I said, I always start one or two stitches away from, be in front of the end. So now this time we are doing one, one, and then in the next stitch we do two double crochets. Okay, so this time the ratio is one, one, two. And again, yeah, is that lying right? Yeah, I'm taking with me my ends because that's just going to make life so much easier. 
I will see you at the end of the round. Okay, so we are at the end of the round. Once again, slip stitch to close the round. There we go. And as you can see, I have taken along the ends here and it sort of ended there, which is fine. I can cut this off, but it doesn't really need it as it's going to disappear anyway into the cushion. So I just make a quick knot there. It's not lying flat, but I can push it flat, so that's fine. And next one, lucky dip. Ta da Buttercup. No, no, buttermilk. That's buttermilk, isn't it? Yes, buttermilk. So, and the same thing again, we attach it with a standing double crochet. And one there as well. So two double crochets, a third one. Make sure you have those ends into position so they are taken along so three double crochets and then the next one and yeah the ends you do two double crochets so this time you're doing one 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 two so three double crochets and then uh, the double one you know what i mean the two <laughs> one 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 and two so i've got another one to do and then my two in there so i will see you at the end of the round <clears throat> right so i've come to the end of this round cut it off do your slip knot and once again, we are going to do <laughs> lucky dip colour. Oh dear, I'm having such fun. <laughs> okay, so little knot, there we go. And I took along the end, there it is, so that's fine. I'm holding it against here, but um, I think we need one more round. One more round, yep. Okay, so next color i have got this oh dear <laughs> that's a bit of a <clears throat> yeah a bit of a not come up there but never mind we will we will sort it out <laughs> okay so and again we start with our standing double crochet right and another one and another one in there, yeah. And another one. So this time we do four individual double crochets and then we do two double crochets in the same stitch. And that's what you will repeat. One, 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 two. I will see you at the end of the round. Okay, so I've done my last stitch here and I'm going to do the slip stitch over that standing stitch. There we go. And that's that. So I have decided that this is the, um, you know, sort of the diameter of my bolster cushion. So now we are going to start doing the tube of the bolster, if you know what I mean. So we are going to have a look at this here because we are going to do just double crochets but this time in the back loops only so let's find some wool and it's gray <laughs> i was hoping for something else but never mind okay so hook into your slip knot again <clears throat> pick up your piece a couple of stitches before where you ended here i pick up the back loop and I do a double crochet okay 
and it helps if this actually <laughs> is tied because that will keep that stitch together a bit better so let me just tie it together there we go and now we are just going to do a whole row of back loop only like I said to start doing our sides so yarn over and then this one here you just have to see where you can put it in really so make sure that you do make sure you count the stitches that you have now and I should have 60 and make sure that you keep them because obviously your tube is the same everywhere you know it's the same thickness basically everywhere so you don't want to start adding stitches so first of all let's do this round of back loop only double crochet so that you can see look it you've got your flat a bit here at the end and then this is lying like that okay so I will see you at the end here Okay, so I've made it to the end of my round. I'm doing my slip stitch and that's that. So now you are going to have to just do the rounds until you have the whole length of your cushion. Okay, so this edge is standing up like you see. This is going to be like that. Okay, and now I have to go all the way along to the other side. So I will meet you when I have done about to about there. Okay, so all that way. But this is what we've got now. Okay, so yes, of course, I had prepared this video and I have already done um, the that long bit. Okay, so I've done this other one in Lucky Dip again. Um, and then I had all these colours here. And I kept doing the same amount of stitches, so it's still the same width. And now we are ready to put the other end on here. Okay, so let me just put this onto my cushion because I think that's going to be important to see where we are at. Mm. So I don't know whether I'm going to be doing this <laughs> live on, <laughs> on the camera, on camera. It helps if you put it a bit further away, I think. Okay. So it's tight, but not too tight. Um, so I think that's fine. And look, I think it is quite nice. All right, there we go. So there we are. So that's good. And now the rest. Okay. So here we have that. So that bit is done. Then I have here another bit to do. So we have this one here to go on the other side. And I am now going to, yeah, I think I need another couple of rows. So I shall put a row or two. Actually, no, I'm going to make it fit. <laughs> okay, next colour. Um, this row is going to be slightly different because we are going to have to attach them to one another. So I am going to do a row of um, half, um, yeah, half double crochets and then a row of slip stitches. So to make it look as if, oh, I'm not starting in the right place. Yeah, here we go. Um, yeah. So half double crochet to make it a little bit less tall and then the slip stitch will bring up the rest of that so let's do a row of half double crochets I will see you at the end of the round
Okay, so I've done a row of half double crochets all around and I skip the first one and there we go, we do the slip stitch in the second one. There we are. Okay, so this time we are not going to cut off because we have to attach it now. And the way I am going to attach it is the following. So we are going to chain up one, then you are just going to choose a stitch and you go into there here, into the back loop here and into the back loop there. Hang on, my wool was in the wrong place. <laughs> there we go. So you pick up both loops, so the sort of inner loops of your work and then you do a single crochet. And you're going to have to do that all the way around. This will um, make it so that that looks sort of the same depth as a normal double crochet. So that's okay. But there will be the stitches that are sort of lying up on top of the work. So I am suggesting that on the other side we do a fake line of slip stitches to mirror this look here. So let me just show you what to do. So this is the way we are going to attach it and it's going to look like this. Okay. So hopefully, you know, by the end that will look okay. And then on the other side, we have pink in the second position. And I have been trying. Look, and here we are. So I am putting a line of slip stitches onto there as well. Now we can't go behind the work for our wool. So I've just gone in and brought up the wool and done a slim slip stitch and what I did then is we've got the wool here so you go into the next and you sort of lay the wool across and then pull it back pull it back and then slip stitch it back into your loop on your hook so again we go under the stitch lay it over pull it over pull it down in and slip stitch so this is how I am going to finish my work. Oh, I think that was the end there. And there's my cat as well. She loves walking around on my desk here yeah, in the lights. Um, and that gives it sort of that, let's have a look, a fake slip stitch look there as well, which then will mirror, sorry about the cat. <laughs> <laughs> the look we are creating here. So I am going to continue on both sides um, and I will show you, yeah, not my cat's tail, but the finished product in a moment. Come on, show us your face. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, that you didn't want to see that. <laughs> okay, bye. See you in a moment. And I have finished it. Yay! Right, let's look at some pictures. So that's my second cushion done. There are more to go. So keep an eye out for my cushion saga. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Do please subscribe. It is free. Thank you. Bye.